hello so this is now my third well no sorry fourth video um please go back and um watch my other videos i did a review on the millennium tour and i also did like a small video on um nikki and people talking about her shows being canceled and her downfall quote unquote um so whenever you have the time please go look at that um i am here to do like a really brief quick review on chasing atlanta um right this this video i'm not gonna do like a deep dive i'm really just gonna talk about the characters um for season three and like just kind of what i think about them and depending on like how many views this video get i'll probably just go ahead and do like every like episode now let me say this i heard i found out about chasing atlanta maybe late last year or something like that because i um i'm subscribed to ty um ty couture if any of y'all know his um channel and him and mike they used to do um reviews on chasing atlanta and so i found out about the show through watching his channel watching their videos and stuff and so you know i went into i went to the youtube and i watched it and i was like oh this is okay well first of all this is giving me love and hip-hop atlanta tees not not just even atlanta but just loving hip-hop tees period but a little bit more low budget but that's okay that that is okay because it's black people trying to do a body motherfucker self so i don't even care specifically black lgbt people you know they're trying to do it by themselves so i'm here for it right let's get into the show so i'm gonna start with the third season so we're, I'm just gonna go in order of how they popped up like on the episode we're gonna start with Q I have mixed feelings about Q um so far this season he's been okay but I have not liked him for the way that he acted last season um to me he's very n not like I said last season he gave off the impression of being very like uppity very better than y'all type shit and even um i forgot who called him out on that last season when they were had that big sit down but somebody called him out was it i can't remember who called him out but somebody called him out pretty much saying like you sit up here and you act like you're better than the rest of us and his thing was oh well i've been on the show and i haven't seen nobody do business meetings and this this, this, this that and the dirt and it's like do we have to do business meetings in front of you to make it known that we're doing business no to be quite honest q no shade i don't know who you are and i've never heard of you until this show so you can't be that popping the way that you're trying to make it seem okay humble humble thy wig humble thy wig like for real so in this first episode he was at a i believe like at a lgbt like i think he was at pride i think maybe he was at pride in atlanta and just hosting like an event there that was cute enough stuff like that you know what i mean um i'm not trying to say that he doesn't actually work but i'm just saying the way that he acts it's like calm down where you're not you're not at the top top tier of journalism not even in atlanta boo so calm down um but in general i think he is a very 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 good looking man he's like he fine for real to me but like i said maybe this season you know his attitude will change so my attitude towards him will change but right now because of the way he acted last season i'm just completely over every scene that he's in i don't even care i'm like over it right over cool. next we got into oh we got to somebody new kendra kendra is um the transgender she is a transgender woman um, and she is, uh, she raps, pretty much. And that's kind of like, from what I'm getting, going to be her storyline. She's just a rapper. She's kind of trying to make it and stuff like that. Um, I like her. I, I think she's cool enough. No lie, but her makeup in the, in the confessional is really, really bad. I don't know if it's because of the lighting or what. And I'm, I'm nobody's makeup guru. I barely know how to fuck up put on concealer. But I could tell that it did not look right. It didn't look right. But in general, she's very, very cute. I like her attitude. I like her spirit. I like all of that. I like all of that. I wonder if her and the little dude that she was talking to, if they gonna hook up, because he look like he's feeling her kind of. Mm -hmm. Look like he's feeling her. Then the next, I believe we got into 
I think it was maybe Montel and Cameron that was next. Let me tell y'all, one of my favorite people on the show is Montel. I go up for Montel first of all. His comebacks, quick as hell. He will whoop your ass, period, like he did last season. He dragged Jaylon's ass. Tripped or not, you got dragged. Um, and I just like, I like Montel so much. Like, I like his spirit, his energy. He's just very, like, boss, like, boss type me. And he's not really here for the drama. He's just like, let me put everything out on the table. I care, I don't care. X, Y, Z, and the third. Like, I feel like even the way he handled the whole situation last year when, um, Hakeem had came and told him about him messing with his man's dick or whatever. I feel like even he handled that good. Like, he walked out of the situation. He didn't turn up. He didn't do none of that. And I could kind of honestly tell that out of everybody. I feel like Montel is probably, it comes off at least, Montel is the least pressed as far as being on TV. As far as being on his camera that's just what he gives me he's like the least pressed about it he could take it or he could lose it like and he really truly means that and i believe him um i just love motel he's like my fave i love especially like at the reunion go off go go off um then i think he was talking to cameron i like cameron too i think cameron um tends to be the mutual party which it looks like this season it's that that they're gonna kind of make him or force him to, to to pick a side which i don't think that that's fair just because me, like if me and person a is friends and person a and person c don't get along you know and i'm also cool with person c why do why why do i gotta pick as long as person a ain't talking about person c in front of me and vice versa i don't care my friends my best friends are friends with people who i don't give a fuck about i don't care as long as that person ain't talking shit on me and I know that my best friends will never let nobody talk shit on me I don't really care about that so I think that is unfair that it, it, I don't know but it looks like later this season they're gonna make him pick a side and I don't think that that's fair I don't think that that's cool at all he could be friends with whoever it is that he wants to be with um you know the fact that he um was going through the whole thing with um cancer and stuff that really touched my heart because my grandma is currently has cancer and she has to go do dialysis and I know how tired and stressing that can be and I can honestly say this for him to be going through all of that and him to still get shit done the way that he is like doing these fashion shows and just being here and being there like he lost a lot of weight like I can do nothing but commend him now his fashions ain't particularly my favorite but at the same time I can do nothing but give him like praise pretty much for what he's doing and I I, I I like Cameron Cameron's one of the few people on the show I actually like because I feel like he real low-key and real like you know he just he real cool who else who else who else, who else do we have um then I think in this episode in particular we I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna save Jaylon for last because you know I'm gonna save Jaylon for last um I don't know if Gardini was in this episode but How do I feel about Gardini? I think he's funny enough, but oh no, 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 no. Okay, so Gardini really do give me like I'm really trying to use this platform to elevate myself, which that's fine because that's what it's for. But last reunion when he pulled out those receipts on Jaylon, I was like, yeah. You better come in here with the receipts. You better come in here with proof. You better come in here with documentation, okay? Go off, Gardini. I was here for it. And shout out to Justin J. Um, King of Reads. Um, love you, Justin. If you ever watching, I love you so much. I stand. I seen his interview with Justin, and that was just all the shade in the world. And I was here for it. I was absolutely here for it. Because I do think that people try to come for Gardini like in little little subtle ways and stuff like that and think he won't pop that. But he's gonna pop that period. Okay, I think this episode maybe he talked about going to jail or something like that. Or he has to go to jail. Whatever bitch do your time. Get out and do you okay? Okay. Um like Gardini. Like Gardini. Um who else is that the guy? For one second 
I said all of these people is my favorite. Montel is my second favorite, and I like Cameron. Cameron's maybe like my third. My number one favorite person on this show, like me and everybody else, D. The fuck? Yo, he's like the Jocelyn or something of the show to me personally. A lot of people may feel like, oh, j Lon's the standout star, but no, 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 no. If you watch the past two seasons, specifically the reunions, if it wasn't for D, this shit would be nothing. Even though last season he cut the fuck up, I mean, during the reunion, he was drunk as hell, him and his boo was out there fighting and shit, but I don't care. I'm here for it. I love him so much. He don't give a fuck. He gonna say what the fuck he gotta say. He... I love him so much. He's off top my favorite person on the show, period. Personality wise, look like, and he's a fine man too. Like, I was on his Instagram the other day and I never really paid attention. He's a really good looking man. Like, he's chocolate and everything. I love it. I love Devon. I love, uh, love you, Devon. Please don't change. I love you so much. And then we can get on to Jay Law. All right, so. All right, so the first season or two, you know, when J-Law was on, j Long came off very, first of all, j Long's younger than me, and that's what kind of made me, mm, kind of turn my, my mm, what, like, is going on here, because I'm 25, right, I'm 25, I think j Long when the first, when the show first started, I think j Long said he was like 21, maybe, 21, I believe, so I'm like, a lot of stuff that you're saying doesn't make any sense to me, like, I'm not saying that there are people who can't get a, a lot of money in a very short amount of time and be very young and be very successful. But a lot of stuff that, you know what I'm saying, just didn't make any sense to me. It just, it did not make any sense to me, like, at all. At all, right? Okay, cool. So that's why when Gardini came out with all of the receipts, I'm like, okay, now this shit makes fucking sense to me because it wasn't making all the sense to me in the world. Like, you got all this money, you got all this that, you can't have as much money. And everybody know that at the end of the day, I'm not going to really press it too much because everybody know at the end of the day, Atlanta is the home of the flex. It's the home of the flex. And on top of that, your dollar goes so much motherfucking further in Atlanta than do anywhere else. I'm from New York. I'm from New York City. I lived in I grew up in, I started off living in Brooklyn, but I lived in the Bronx and I lived in Queens and in Queens as well. That little bit of money that you're making out there in Atlanta, that shit's not going to stretch if you fucking go to New York. You could go to LA and get a little shop or something like that, but as far as living, the way that you like to live, Jay Long, that shit would never work in LA. That shit would never work in New York. In Atlanta, that would work because your money can stretch a whole lot further. That's why most people move to Atlanta. I'm not hating because I'm about to fucking move to North Carolina so I can start law school and so that I can stretch my money even fucking more, okay? So I'm not mad at it. But it's like, you just come off very, everybody know, you real high and mighty and stuff like that. And I think, Jalen, you're cute enough. In the confessionals, your wig be laid. But according to these reviews, mm -mm, not when it comes to your hair, it's not laid. They don't come in on time. There's a whole bunch of problems with that. So I do think that that little brand manager that you was working with, I don't know if it was this season or last season, y'all need to stick together. Because you, cause you're not looking too good out here. And... No shade. I hope your little twerk go through, but you're going around and talking to people. I hope that was wonderful. Me personally, I'm not about to sit up here and listen to you talk about what? About what? I'm not even trying to be funny. I'm not trying to downplay, but it's not that hard to get some bundles and to make it work. You are not the first, second, third, or fourth person to even fucking do that. People been doing that probably when you were still in high school. You, tr you said you was 21. People was definitely doing that when you was in high school. It's not like something that's oh, all outstanding, right? Get your bag and all that, but be humble. Be humble at the same time. Like, feel me? In general, though, I like this show. I think the show is really, really cute. Um, the production value of this season is oh, levels above what it was the past few seasons. Um, I really fuck with the show. Um, I like the dynamic between all of them. I like how um, a lot of times, especially in the last two seasons, how sometimes we'll step outside of the show and be like, look, y'all outside of this show right outside of this show because that's just some real shit this is reality tv but it's still tv so there's certain things that people got to deal with once they leave the show and i like the fact that y'all don't have no problem saying but we understand that this is the show but outside of that what are we trying to do to get the bag i will give jay Lon this i will give jay Lon this jay Lon's about the bag and i don't know how much the bag is but she, 
definitely about the bag and i'm here for that just trying to get different opportunities like i said congratulations to your shop out in la i'm not even trying to hate like that ass congratulations i hope you get more stores and you continuously be successful but like somebody said the other day shannon sharp said it all undisputed when you give somebody more money it doesn't change them. It just amplifies who they are already. So, Jay one I will hope the more money that you get, the more of an asshole you don't become. You know, I will hope not. But we shall fucking see, man. Um, Like I said, if I get enough, you know, views on this video, I'm just going to go ahead and I'm going to do a weekly video on it. Um, The first, I watched the first three or four episodes. They were really cute. They was alright. We're getting to the drama. We ain't there yet, but we get into the drama. And I'm here for it. Alright, please comment, rate, subscribe. Please view my other videos as well. Thanks.